بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہیلو گائز ٹو آل آف یو ویر ایور یو آر اسد یعقوب سیز ہیلو ٹو یو کے گریٹنگس ویل گائز دیر از اے کامن کوشچن دیز ڈیز ویدر آن اسکرین اسپیکنگ از بیٹر دین لائک ویدر آن اسکرین اسپیکنگ از بیٹر اور فیس ٹو فیس اسپیکنگ ود دی ایگزامنر از بیٹر بیکاز یو نو سم ٹائمس برٹش کاؤنسل and IDP, they give you this option whether you want to go for on-screen speaking or you want to go for, that's what they say on digital link, HD link and all that, or you want to go for face-to-face. -face. But in some parts where there is that threat of COVID or any other epidemic, so there it has, made, it has been made compulsory, okay? Now listen, what is on-screen speaking or what is online speaking or what is digital link speaking and all that? It's very, very simple. There's going to be a screen in front of you. On the screen, there will be examiner on the, on the table. They will have pen and paper and all that stuff. And you will have to wear a headphone, right? And then there's going to be that uh, examiner. And examiner is going to communicate with you and the test will be recorded and all that. Now, there is nothing to worry. According to me, you guys are going to be far more comfortable in on-screen speaking than the real speaking. I tell you why. When you have on-screen speaking, it's just a screen. Examiner is on the screen, so examiner will not pressurize you or you will not be pressurized by the examiner. And this is not the pressure that examiner gives you. This is the pressure that you build on your own. So the actual exam pressure, examiner anxiety, such type of things will be controlled if you take on-screen speaking. Everything is same. Pattern is same, topics are same, cue cards are same, part three questions are same. There is no problem at all. So if you have this opportunity to choose between on screen and face to face, it's all up to you. Right? I don't want to impose anything on you. It's all up to you. But on screen speaking is equally good. It's as good as face to face speaking. One of my students appeared in IELTS test. There was that face-to-face -face speaking and there was shield between the candidate and the examiner. They have a clear shield there, plastic shield, like a clear glass. It is there. And he, my student, was wearing a mask as he started his speaking test. He started talking. The mask started slipping down. And when the mask reached here, before that examiner said, and he got confused, he, put his, he pulled up his mask. And then again, as he started answering, step by step, the mask started sliding down and down and down. And before it reached his nostrils, NASA, before it reached the mask, reached his nostrils, the examiner again said, and he had to do it. So when the examiner said this, he got puzzled. And finally, after two to three questions, with one hand, he was holding his mask. And with second hand, he was answering the questions and writing for speaking part two. Now, I mean, if you are supposed to use the mask, please wear a mask before exam. Speak and see what happens to the mask when you talk. Does the mask slip down? It comes below your nose or does the mask stick up there? This is very, very important because in actual exam, <laughs> you will not like it, okay? In actual exam, this can confuse you. And you know, the examiner, they say it angrily. Yeah, so this is going to confuse you a lot. And that student of mine, he took his IELTS speaking test by holding the mask and you're not going to like it. Imagine with one hand, you are holding the mask and the other hand, you're answering the questions and all that. And if the mask is not that good, then both hands, you are holding the mask and you are answering the questions. So be careful. If you have to wear a mask, wear a mask at home and then practice, right? Otherwise, you can make a mask out of your socks. Just joking, okay? Just joking, right? So you should wear a mask that does not slip down and all that. Anyways, coming back to on-screen speaking, 
it's going to be simple, all right? Uh, the link, digital links are usually fine sometimes if the link is broken. There is that uh, invigilator and he's going to help you out, so there is no problem. If you are afraid of the examiner, then you go for digital exam, you will not be that much confused. But if you are comfortable and you are fine with human presence, you don't want the screen, you need human presence, you want a human who is giving you a feedback, because in uh, this digital link, it's very difficult to maintain eye contact with the examiner, because examiner will be looking at the camera, and you'll be looking here and there, so it's going to be difficult to maintain eye contact with the examiner. Uh, but if you feel comfortable, if you want a human being to look at you and to nod the hair and all that, then this one is good. But again, remember, there's going to be a shield. There'll be a mask on the face of the examiner, right? Sometimes double mask on full face, like, you know, kakawala mask, yeah? Hold cap on the head, only mouth and eyes. But they're only eyes you could see, like Spider-Man, huh? Okay. Anyways, jokes aside. Both tests are equally valid, content is same, pattern is same, style is same, questions are same, examiners are same, so it depends on you. But if you have no choice and they have asked you to appear in on-screen speaking, there is nothing to worry about. Go on and take your test and you're going to be fine. All the best. I also teach IELTS online all over the world and on campus here in Lahore. If you want to join my online or on campus IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaqub truly wishes you best of luck. Take care. Allah Hafiz.